Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the latest episode of Found, Season 2, Episode 4, titled Missing While Perfect, which just dropped on NBC. So grab your snacks, settle in, and let's get into everything this episode has to offer, because trust me, this one has layers. Hashtag 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 quick overview, but we'll get detailed, don't worry. The episode officially aired on October 24th, and it's packed with emotional highs and tense moments. Right off the bat, we see Lacey still grappling with the aftermath of her kidnapping. It's raw, it's real, and it really drives home how trauma can impact someone's life long after the actual event is over. I love how Found continues to shine a light on the complexities of recovery, and Lacey's storyline is no exception. It's not just about surviving the kidnapping, it's about what happens after, the internal battle, and how she navigates her new normal. The writers are handling this arc with a lot of care, and I think it's resonating with a lot of viewers. But that's just one part of this episode. The fractured MA team, which we all know is already dealing with its own issues, comes together to help a 15-year-old boy searching for his missing parents. You know when the team's all about finding the truth, they're going to give it their all. And in this case, the stakes are high. Watching them dig into this case, each team member using their unique skills and background, keeps you glued to the screen. There are some great moments of suspense and real heart here. It's not just another case for them, especially considering the vulnerability of a child being involved. You feel that tension, that desperation, both from the team and from the boy. Hashtag 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 Lacey's journey post-kidnapping. Let's circle back to Lacey for a minute. I think her storyline might be one of the most compelling arcs in this show right now. In Missing While Perfect, we see her trying to adjust to life post-kidnapping, and it's far from easy. The emotional turmoil she's going through is palpable. I mean, how do you return to normal after something like that? Lacey's journey represents the long, winding road of trauma recovery. It's not a neat linear process, and Found does an amazing job at depicting that. It's messy, it's heartbreaking, but it's also so important to show. What stood out to me in this episode is how they portray her attempts to readjust. It's not just about her, but also about how the people around her are responding. The team, especially, is handling her with care, but there's also that undercurrent of uncertainty. They want to support her, but how do you do that when someone's gone through something so horrific? You can see the subtle shifts in their interactions, and it's those little details that make Lacey's story hit harder. Hashtag 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 the MA team and the missing parents case. Now, the main case of the episode involves the team working with a 15-year-old boy whose parents have gone missing. Can you even imagine the terror this kid must be going through? The team is still fractured after everything they've been through, but when it comes to this case, they come together like a well-oiled machine. It's fascinating to watch them set aside their personal issues to focus on helping this boy find his family. What's great about this storyline is how it interweaves the personal and professional. On one hand, the team is handling this extremely delicate situation, but on the other, they're all grappling with their own stuff. Found excels at balancing that dynamic. We get to see them as more than just detectives or investigators. They're people with their own struggles, and those struggles bleed into their work in ways that feel real and unforced. And the case itself? It's gripping. The twists and turns keep you hooked. Just when you think you have it figured out, they throw something else at you. It's one of those stories that makes you think about the larger themes of family, loss, and desperation. You can't help but feel for this kid, and the team's dedication to finding his parents is truly moving. You can tell they're invested in more than just solving the case, they want to give him peace, closure. Hashtag 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 Sir and Trent, future plans and big decisions. While all this is going on, Sir is making plans for the future. This was a really interesting side plot that gives us some insight into where his head is at. He's usually such a strong, focused character, but this episode shows him in a more reflective light. What are these plans? What's next for him? There are definitely some intriguing hints that I think will play out in upcoming episodes. I love it when shows plant seeds for future storylines, and Found does this so well. And then there's Trent. He's dealing with a case of his own, and the weight of the decision he has to make is heavy. Trent's been a bit of a wild card in previous episodes, so seeing him grapple with this choice adds some real depth to his character. It's going to be interesting to see how this decision plays out in future episodes because it feels like it's going to have some lasting consequences. Whether that's personal, professional, or both, we'll have to wait and see. Hashtag 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 final thoughts. 
All in all, Found Season 2, Episode 4, Missing While Perfect, is another solid addition to the series. The show continues to hit that sweet spot between procedural drama and character-driven storytelling. There's so much depth to these characters, and this episode is a great example of how Found weaves together its larger narrative threads with the individual cases the team works on. If you're not caught up yet, I highly recommend binging the last few episodes because the tension is building and the character arcs are only getting more intense. Lacey's journey alone is worth the watch, but the dynamics of the team and the high-stakes cases keep things fresh and exciting. What did you think of the episode? Do you have any theories on where Sir's future plans are heading? And how do you think Trent's decision will impact the team? Let me know in the comments below. I'm super curious to hear your thoughts. As always, thanks for tuning in and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more deep dives, breakdowns and reviews of all your favorite shows. Until next time.